If you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. Right now, there are still more than 30,000 Mainers without power, according to CMP. Crews from Canada drove through the night to join workers here in Maine and spent yesterday repairing and clearing down lines and trees. CMP says they expect to have power back on for 90% of customers by tonight. The Amtrak Downeaster website continues to report significant delays due to the weather. Power outages all around the track are causing the backups. Amtrak is advising travelers to check the train status online. And according to the Jetport website, airports are running on schedule. Right now, investigators are trying to determine what caused the two alarm fire in Bath, destroying Bath Fire Captain Dave Hudson's home at Nine Hounds Way. Investigators say it started in the garage, then spread to the rest of the home. Everyone made it out safely. In Ferguson, Missouri, a quiet and calm night. People even showed up to thank National Guard troops with Thanksgiving food and hot coffee. But there were dozens of demonstrators who interrupted holiday shopping at major retail stores in the St. Louis area. No word of any arrests. Three popular hunting seasons are ending for the year. Tomorrow is the last day to legally hunt bears and moose. It's also the last day for hunting deer with firearms. The archery and muzzleloader seasons last until next month. The Black Friday frenzy, frenzy rather, underway right now. News 8's Paul Merrill is live at the main mall where the eager Mainers have already been shopping for hours. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Cordy. If you're hoping to get your hands on those Black Friday deals, you're about seven hours late. There are thousands of Mainers who already got the jump on you. The line at Best Buy wrapped around the side of the main mall. Hundreds of people, some of them told us they had been in line since 11 a.m. on Thanksgiving. 13 hours standing there for the promise of a $200 flat screen TV and other tech items. The crowds inside the mall were thick, and there were a lot of young shoppers that we saw coming out to spend their money on those Black Friday deals. The crowds kind of thinned out as morning approached, but then during the dawn hours, things picked up again. People uh, sending reinforcements or shoppers who actually decided to sleep before coming out. The, nat the uh, National Retail Federation expects nationwide 140 million people inclined to shop, and more than two thirds of those people will come out today. That's the latest live from South Portland. Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8. Thank you, Paul. Today is also the official start of the shopping season for Christmas trees, and they're going to cost a little more this year. Prices vary widely, but the average tree will cost about 20 bucks, two dollars more than the past few years. You'll pay more as we get closer to Christmas. And you can get out, uh, head out to Monument Square rather tonight to see Portland's very own Christmas tree light up for the season. The program begins at 5.30. If you're driving to the city, Congress Street between Brown and Elm Streets will be closed to traffic from 11 to 9 a.m.